and we're live again right now it's definitely the afternoon it's definitely not bright and sunny we've just had a rain shower so i had to scrap my last uh, last video uh, rain stop play we're back out again here again now and i just want to uh, one of the one of the other faults on the vehicle i'll just show you now this is a two, two, 2007 uh, Citroen Relay 3 2.2 diesel so you'll all you'll all you should all know the layout of this van by now and we've actually got one of the faults is PO683 pre post heating relay control plug fault commonly known as a glow plug fault right so on this vehicle let me just let me just show you Right, if we go on to Hella HGS, it's actually, if we tick the box for you so you can see it, yeah, it's one point, uh, it's one hour and 12 minutes to do the glow plugs on this. They're buried in there. So what we want to do, we want to find a quick way to check the glow plugs so that we can actually... Um, weren't getting the job in and and doing the job and of course i will i will definitely do the job so right so first thing we need to do is we need to find the easiest point to test the glow plugs and on this vehicle it just happens to be this little relay here there's the bus number it's a 0281 and it lives you see where that bolt hole is there this relay is actually bolted there so it's in on the inner wing on the near side if we look at the look at the relay let me just uh, take it out so i can show you it i'll just put you down for a second they're not the easiest relays to take out these they tend to be a little bit stubborn Right, so, there's the relay removed, you just have to pull that blue tab out, but that's easier said than done. You can see there's quite a lot of dirt and detritus gathered on that. That might be due to the fact that we can see daylight down at the bottom there. The plastic covers and that are missing. And then inside the relay, we can see we've got one big fat terminal, well, we can guess what that's for. That's going to be the power feed in. And we've got a little a little terminal either side of that two terminals in front of it and then four terminals down at the down at the bottom or at the top on the video here so them four terminals there and i don't know whether you can make it out but it says g1 g2 g3 and g4 and then we look there's so these are our g terminals here okay we've got four wires brown red yellow and green you're welcome Eli mate you're welcome so brown red yellow and green they're the wires that go to my glow plugs and on the other side big fat red wire little skinny red wire little skinny brown wire and then in the middle you, got, you can see there there's another couple of wires there but the ones we're interested in right now at this minute are the brown red yellow and green okay so going back over onto Hella. you have to excuse me uh, shaky that's the network um, what we can do is wiring diagrams so you can see here on the wiring diagrams this wiring diagram is being used with the wiring diagram we can see on the left hand side here fuse to 50 amp big thick red wire going down to a glow plug relay module and then if we just zoom in a little bit more <coughs> yeah these are the ones we're interested in right now so for a, a quick and dirty test we've got the brown red yellow and green we just want to see are all those four okay it's the quickest and easiest way, pass fail test. Do we move on or do we have to start looking any further? So let's quickly do that. Easiest way to do that, 
standard uh, incandescent test light this is the OTC 3633 um, pulls about 100 milliamps all I'm going to do connect it to battery positive test my test light to see that it works and all I'm going to do is see if I've got a see, see if I've got a complete circuit down to my glow plugs so these are the these are the four terminals we're interested in I'm just going to run down them one at a time so it lights so I've got a path to ground path to ground no path to ground path to ground you notice I'm just touching on the terminal I'm not forcing the test light in I'm not spreading the terminals I'm just touching it gently so that one there I've got no path to ground and that would be we flick it over that would be the yellow wire so it looks like it's uh, cylinder three the other thing we can quickly do is check the check the resistance of it if we've got no path to ground that's failed but let's have a look at how to use how to use the old meter I've got the Veris out here at the minute <coughs> excuse me and the easiest way to do it if we look on the top of the Veris you can see we've got the four channels and the ground we turn it over you can see the red and the blue channel three and four yeah I have mate you're right three and four is my own meter okay so we can either go and get two cables from from the back of the van or we can use the yellow lead which is two cables combined isn't it power and ground so what I'm going to do it doesn't matter which way I put them in I'm just going to literally that in there that in there and then that gives me on the other end my two separate cables I'm going to hit the home screen scope multimeter digital multimeter ohms right. now we can go on to set up here uh, no it's not set up um, I've just calibrated this probe so it's it's not going to ask me if I want to do it is it Back. ohms normally it will ask you if you want to calibrate the leads so what you would do you would put the two leads together and it will actually calibrate it but we've just done that so I'll just stick these on so all I'm going to do now I'm going to find a body ground uh, Douglas the wiring diagram program is hella HGS mate so what I've got there I've just got it to ground I touch the probes together one ohm okay and then literally all I'm going to do I'm going to run down actually let's see if we can get that get the virus in a better place for you so we can actually see all at once yep all right so all I'm going to do I'm going to run down the wires there's the first one one ohm there's the second one one ohm there's the third one open circuit we've already confirmed that with our test light one ohm and again you'll notice I'm not stuffing it in I'm just resting it lightly on it so the test light confirmed that I'd got no path to ground the ohm meters confirmed I've got no path to ground so I need to have a look at that uh, cylinder 3 glow plug we can also see here that there's a connector connector in engine compartment left hand before we do anything we need to find that connector and just make sure that I've got no voltage drop across that across that connector where it is in there could be anybody's guess where it is in there could be absolutely anybody's guess what I'm probably guessing I'm probably guessing it'll be that one no it's no it's not that loom so it's, I would imagine it's going to be this this connector here down here. I've got 
Yeah, I would imagine they'll be going, these will be going off to the glow plugs. And if I can just clean that up a little bit and get a bit of light on there. Nope, we've got a grey, a grey and a yellow and brown, so it's not that connector either. So we'll have to go looking for that connector and make sure we've got no volt drop across that, no open circuit, no broken wire. And then once we've checked that connector there, we'll actually then go and have a look at the glow plug. But this is the next place, next place I really want to be having a look. And then also, don't forget, after that, after we've done that, we need, before we bring the customer with a quote, yeah, in due care and due diligence, we've got to check our ground on pin 7. We've got to check our live coming in on pin 11. Our blue black, where's that going down to? That's going down to crankcase heater. So we'll have to have a look at that. That's also powered by a fuse. Yeah, so we'll have to check that fuse, check that we've got power on this wire, and then these are going to be our control wires. One will be control and one will be feedback, I would have thought. So yeah, so a simple glow plug fault turns out to be not so simple. But there's the initial stage anyway, how, how to check your glow plugs with an ohm meter and a test light to battery positive. I hope you enjoyed the short video. Hope you all have a great Sunday afternoon. And uh, that's that's me for the day now. I'm going to pack up, get showered, and I'm having a roast dinner. Thanks for watching. You're awesome.